Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. And thank you again. Shout out to Vash Guy, who once again taught me how to use this mic. I'm using the Blue Yeti mic. And it turns out I've been using it wrong the whole time. So hopefully I sound better in these voiceover videos in this one than in previous voiceover videos because apparently the mic was facing the wrong way. So dumb me. But, you know, thank you, Vash Guy, for uh, teaching me how to use that. I was on. Orange Grove 55's channel, and he uh, taught me how to use that, so go check them out, and let's get on to the update. All these photos are from Mice Chat, Dateline Disneyland, and my Age, Mice Chat. Um, this is a Toontown construction update uh, as recently as about a week ago. Um, I can't obviously get Toontown updates myself because I don't have a helicopter, but thank you to Mice Chat, Dateline Disneyland for getting Toontown updates, and as you can see in this video, you can see the Toontown facade uh for the Mickey or Mickey Minis runaway, runaway railway facade in Burm is starting to creep up. It looks absolutely fantastic already. And you have the mountain range starting to form there. So that is great stuff. So um again and the marquee is gone, as you can see, the Toontown marquee. Hopefully it comes back and hopefully it's as still animated, maybe even more animated than before. Because again, Toontown just like Tomorrowland used to be, but Toontown is, and Toontown really used to be, full of kinetic energy, and I hope it comes back full of kinetic energy as well. Taking a look at the Roger Rabbit side of things, where, um, hopefully this land, by the way, will include a lot more Chippendale Rescue Ranger stuff. In fact, I'll include that up, that video that I did about the Chippendale Rescue Rangers review on Orange Grove's channel, and when it's up, I'll include that to the top of this video because we do talk about how that movie could incorporate here into Toontown. Especially not on the Robert Roger Rabbit side of things, but on the Gadget's Ghost Coaster side of things. So, But on the Roger Rabbit side of things, you can see everything is complete dirt, but it's graded dirt, so maybe they're ready to start putting in some paving soon. We shall see. But in this area, this particular, this particular area, a new fountain is going to be going in. Roger Rabbit is staying. It's just getting enhanced modifications. Probably continuing the Jessica Rabbit storyline, the new Detective Jessica Rabbit storyline. Um, so that's not going anywhere. For anyone new watching this video, or anyone that did not know that, so don't be alarmed. Roger Rabbit, again, as I've caught on this channel, the best urban planning movie of all time, and one of the greatest movies in my opinion. I love that movie. Is staying, and it's gonna have great representation. And I love that Roger Rabbit wasn't the new Chippendale Rescue Ranger, so. He'll definitely be back. But yeah, his ride's looking good. This is the back of the Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway show building. Again, the outsuckers are, are mo mostly done. I mean, they're mostly working on the interior, and this should open early next year. Or spring of next year, maybe like March. Here's um, where the Centennial Park is going to be. Um, and they're still rehabbing, um, is that Donald's house, Donald's boat um, over there? Or Donald's house, sorry. But they're only going to kind of build like a kind of like a campsite in the back. But yeah, this large area will be Centennial Park. They got rid of all the trolley tracks. And the El Capitoon Theater facade is starting to show up as well. Um, you can see it in the blue. It has that blue blue siding that we used to see all over Super Nintendo World. Um, and just like Super Nintendo World, when the blue siding got drywall and siding got taken off then came the stucco and theme so we should see that soon maybe potentially in the next update for the el capitune theater the quick service shops are not expected to return the restaurants quick service restaurants sorry but we hopefully will get some nice new concepts maybe some higher class con or better tasting concepts um from this area where the hot dog poodles hot dogs and um Ice cream are expected to where it were. There's Donald's boat looking good in the Donald's house. Under rafts and scaffolding. Again, the whole land is just full of dirt. Full of dirt. I'm very excited to see that whole new Centennial Park area with that large tree. It's gonna uh, looks like it's gonna be a fake tree, but anything to provide some nice shade. It looks like Toontown will actually have more shade than ever, which is fantastic. Something again. Uh, we were talking about on the Orange Grove channel. Mount uh, Toy Story Land has no shade. 
So, it'd be great to see Toontown have even more shade. There's Gadget Go Coast, and again, we talked a lot about this in the video on how we, how one, I didn't even know who Gadget was until this movie. Two, a lot of people don't know who Gadget is. If you're, if you're young, if you're old, older, then yes. But we think, all of us agreed, really, it should be rethemed to a Chippendale Rescue Rangers coaster. It's either just a, like a, just maybe like a Rescue Rangers coaster. That way, you can feature the whole cast and maybe actually feature Gadget in her own coaster. Since she's not featured anywhere in it, you can put an animatronic or just statue of Gadget and the gang in Chippendale. Especially because, you know, their houses are gone, so. They don't have any representation in the land, so that would be great. But there'll be a, speaking of fountains in Chippendale, there'll be a new uh, fountain over there by Mickey in Minnie's house, right in the plot of dirt there. And yeah, that seems to be pretty much it from this quick update of Toontown. I think it looks fantastic. Not too much has changed from the last time, but they are hard, they're working very hard. This is looking to open next year. I'd say about March 2023. In my honest opinion, I, I have no, no rumor, no info. I'm just, I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm just guessing, and I I'm feel like that could be a very good guess. But what do you guys think uh, about this update in Toontown? Are you excited for the new Toontown? Are you excited for Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway? Railway? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, subscribe for more theme park updates, and have a fantastic day.